everybody, it's Shirley, and today I'm just going to show cross stitching that I have finished. No, it's not a lot, but there are finishes. The first one that I finished is this sloth bookmark, and I used the thread and the fabric that was in the kit. And there is a lot of mistakes in this one, but it's done. I'm just, I'm not worried about it. Um, it wasn't centered properly, so I had to add some extra leaves over this way. Uh, a couple other little mistakes in there. But overall, it's done. It looks okay. I'm not worried about it. I could have unpicked it, but I was too far in before I saw the mistake. So, yeah, I wasn't I didn't care after that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the bookmark completed. And it's, um, I quite like it. Like I said, I might just back it with a bit of felt and maybe fringe down in here, you know, fringe uh, the bottom. I don't know how I'm going to finish this one up, but, yeah, it's, the stitching, now is completed. And this, this is not ironed or anything, so um, I'll wash it you know, and just iron it up and press it and make it look nice when I finish it up. The other one that I completed was the English Cottages, the Siri one with, by Jane Greenoff. And this one is the Park Lodge Hampshire one. And I think this one turned out really nice. The back stitching in this um, really set it off, I think, and completed it. It's... um. It, there's no mistakes in this one. I saw them before it got a bit too late. And um, there was a mistake with this cream thread. And I had to use the cream thread for in my work box because um, I ran out of the kick colour. But I did actually happen to have the same colour. So it's, you can't really tell the difference. But yeah, the back stitching really did set that off to complete it and um i quite uh, liked how it finished up but again this is not washed or ironed um i might make this up into a pin cushion i think yeah i might do that so yeah that's that one finished and the other one is a work in progress and there's not a lot to show with this one but it's slowly getting there and that kit is this one this is kate's cottage or kate's cottages how many cottages does she have anyway <laughs> this is a counter cross stitch kit it does come with the um, mount as well in the kit and um i will um finish it up like this when i complete this cross stitch it's got the, the fabric and the thread in this and I'm using the fabric and the thread that come in the kit the fabric is on 14 count uh, cream Ada and this is where I'm at at the moment for this kit the needle miner that I'm using is just this uh, little daisy flower one so um, I'm up in the roof section and uh, it's pretty straightforward stitching it's all just full full cross stitch and two uh, two strands on the 14 count Ada although up in the sky there's one thread and then two thread because I think the one thread is to make it a little bit fainter and then up the top there's like two threads to give it a more um, solid look. So yeah, it's just straight cross stitching and simple back stitching for this. There are no mistakes in this at the moment, but no me. There might be some uh, pulling out of stitching. Hopefully not. So because it is pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Yeah, I'm stitching in a hoop with this one because it's a fair bit of fabric. Uh, usually I stitch in hand and ideally I should zigzag around the edges to stop that from fraying. But I am stitching with a hoop for this one. So that's what I'm stitching on. I have got two finishes and 
I'm working on this one. I did think I'd get this completed this week, but um, no, that wasn't a thing. Okay, that's all from me today. Thank you for watching. Bye.